Good morning and sala mebuwitiriku. Rescue workers of Norway's western coast rushed to evacuate 1,300 passengers and crew from a disabled cruise ship by helicopter on Saturday, winching them one by one to safety as having waves tossed the ship from side to side and high winds battered the operation. Rescue teams with helicopters and boats were sent to evacuate the cruise ship under extremely difficult circumstances, including gusts up to 38 knots and waves over 8 metres high. The area is known for its rough, frigid waters, as Norwegian authorities said late Saturday that the evacuation of the Viking Sky would proceed all through the night into Sunday. The ship was visiting the Norwegian towns and cities of Narvik, Alta, Tomso, Bodo and Stavanger before its scheduled arrival on Tuesday in the British port of Tilbury on the River of Times. The Viking, the Viking Sky, sorry, a vessel with gross tonnage of 47,800 tonnes, were delivered in 2017 to operator Viking Ocean Cruise. The warning and training requirements set for the now grounded 737 MAX 8 aircraft may not have been adequated in light of the Ethiopian plane crash that killed 157 people. Tuwaldi Gimbra Marnyam, chief of Ethiopian Airlines, insisted the carrier's pilot went through all the extra training required by Boeing and the FAA to fly the 737 MAX 8 jet. jet sorry. The March 10 crash killed people from 35 countries. Gilbert Mariam said earlier in the week that the training was meant to help crews shift from an older model of 737 to the MAX 8, which entered airline services in 2017. In a statement, he said pilots were also made aware of an emergency di directive issued by the FAA after the Lion Air crash, which killed 189 people. Utopian Airlines is widely seen as Africa's best managed airline and the carrier had been using five of the MAX planes and was awaiting delivery of 25 more. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Kamaruddin Bujang. Salam Ibu Bitiriku.